What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we completed Bubble Gloop Swamp all the way over there. And in this episode, we're gonna go all the way over there. <laughs> or at least explore that area. Admittedly, I'm not confident that Freeze Easy Peak, the next level we unlocked, is actually gonna be over here, but there's only one way to find out. Because I believe when we actually went here, we saw more of like a like an Egyptian aesthetic. And that is not a level we've unlocked just yet. Can I open these? I can. Okay, so let's see what's going on in here. We have some of these boots, which is really nice. Is there a mumbo token hidden off camera? I wouldn't put it past the game. Really? None? Wow, that's so out of character. <laughs> okay, so it's good to know we can break these walls. I believe I saw one across the way, too. Oh, do you see that mumbo token? Because I do. What's over here, though? Ooh, a hidden passage. And this one is blue, so it probably takes a couple more hits. Or or not, I guess. <laughs> or not. And we've got this switch here. What does this do? Oh, so it makes the shock spring jump pad thingy appear. And I imagine we got to jump into the vase in the middle. Which I don't think will actually prove to be too crazy difficult. Grunty's legs and something else. Oh, that's how we do it. Interesting. That's actually really cool. So you kind of slide down there. And then after sliding... Whoa, I was kind of like on the edge there for a moment. But yeah, you slide down through there. Fall onto the jiggy and then you're able to leave. Wow, that's, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Although spatially, I guess... Doesn't make a lot of sense, given that the vase is right in front of us now, and we just exited from that doorway there, which is far to the right of Grunty's hat. But you know what? Hey, we'll uh, we'll take what we can get, right? Is there something we can do with this? I feel like there is. Let's see if we can jump on top of it or or something. I feel like there is. Nothing? Can I like do this attack? Nope. Alright, well, for the meantime, we'll check out this area over here. Though, again, I don't think we've unlocked this level yet. Right, so you can see the door is closed there. But, ooh man, I'm excited for that level. I remember that one. Not everything about it, of course. But I do remember it, that's for sure. Although, we haven't unlocked that level, which leaves me a little bit skeptical with regards to... Did we miss an area, right? Um, that's generally how level progression works, but these just do more damage, maybe? They don't take more hits. There's no doubt about that. Can we break this? No? Maybe some other way? Well, there's one of those, like, fast travel pots there. And we're already spending quite a bit more time. Ah, that's definitely going to be our... Can I break it this way? No? Well, oh, wait a minute. Let's, um, is it this? Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. It is! <laughs> it's actually really funny, that animation, because, uh... I mean, the egg was, like, breaking before it even left Kazooie's butt, really. And I think we actually have enough notes to unlock this door. 350? Do we have enough? We do. However, for the sake of not confusing myself in terms of where I need to go, we're not gonna go there for now. So, actually... Now that we've figured out how to get rid of some of these webs, let's go over here and clear this up so we can get this cauldron and make speeding things up a little bit easier. Ah, so it's that one. That's it. You've created a shortcut. Hop in and see. I'll pass for now because I just walked quite a bit to get over here. And seeing the snow over there lets me know that that's probably where we're going to find Freeze Easy Peak. However, in the meantime, I do want to explore briefly 450 notes, so that definitely comes after that area. And then even further up here, what do we have? We've got this. Oh, is that another? It looks like another cauldron. <clears throat> we almost fell right into it by accident. So... I guess part of me is curious why there's one up here. Do we not have the other side unlocked? Nah, we don't. When I'm nice and slim once more. Burgers, fries, and chips galore! Of course. It's like the person that goes to the gym 
just for the sake of being able to eat unhealthily later on in the day. Which, I, I guess, like, I you know, obviously can't judge too much, but I get it. <laughs> the disgusting Gruntilda has tadpoles on toast for breakfast. <clears throat> then she usually has slug stew for dinner. Yuck. I agree, Brentilda. Wart bags then finishes with rat sorbet for dessert. How horrid. I couldn't agree more. Is there like a mumbo token back here? Nothing? Really? Oh, well, an extra life. <laughs> I guess, well, we take those. But I'm surprised there wasn't a mumbo token. They seem to be hidden all over the place. Okay, now you guys are probably like, all right, come on, when are you gonna? Huh. Interesting. There's obviously no way we make it over there. But that's all right. <laughs> At least now we know that it's there. So finally heading over to Freeze Easy Peak. I love this aesthetic. It's great. And there's a mumbo token. There are a couple other things to find in there. And then that entrance or whatever should be up there. So we don't want to forget about that. Ah, yes, the ice physics return. We're slipping and sliding all over the place. My favorite. If you couldn't tell, I was being sarcastic. <laughs> we don't need those flight feathers yet. So we'll just go on up here. Camera follows, hopefully. Ooh, so we can go that way, or we can go over this way. Interesting. Ha! Don't think you can use these until you found out how. Well, that's kind of by definition true, isn't it? Oh, so that brings a flight pad there. Oh, but only for brief amount of time, so we probably need those shoes to in order to actually utilize that. So we'll hold off on that for now. And instead, pick up this mumbo token. Is there anything back here? No? Okay. Wish I, I mean, I wish I could see. <laughs> but unfortunately, I can't. Alright. So I guess with that being said, let's hop into Freeze Easy Peak finally. The peak's got another new move waiting for you. If you can find it. <laughs> Alright. I wonder what that move is going to be about. So over here we've got an igloo. It's got that golden feather on top. Mumbo token. I feel like mumbo tokens have become my new obsession. Like, I never really cared all that much about them. I just needed enough to transform when I played this game originally. But now I'm very invested in finding a bunch of them. So let's go ahead and see what's inside this igloo. Oh, we have these, uh, Mumbo Token. <laughs> wow, where's our presents? Our dead Boggy said he was fetching them. He's been gone ages. Wow, aw, poor polar bears, they don't have their, their presents. And <laughs> I love the pictures on the wall. Look at that. They got the little cubs and then the dead Boggy. Aw, that's so cute. Anything over there? Oh, and they have a picture of Banjo and Kazooie, too. I love it. And, of course, the Freeze Easy Peak Snowman. All right, well, we'll, we'll be back. Don't worry, I'll get those presents. <coughs> All right, I see a mumbo token already. Wait, no, no! Banjo, you can do it, I believe in you. We're losing ground, guys. Okay, we'll just have to make our way back up. Presumably, this is Boggy. Groan, my stomach aches. I shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing. Someone help poor Boggy. Eating a tiny, or a shiny thing? I know it must be done. <clears throat> Take two. What? I swear, you have to... Don't we have to make him cough it up or something? I guess not. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll figure it out later, I guess. <laughs> Wanted to pick up those notes before forgetting. Really? Really nothing? I find that so surprising. All right, let's, let's try just, like, maximum height. Here we go. Okay, that's definitely not the solution, then. So we'll have to figure that out later. Got a little bit of height there by accident, and, and there as well, I guess. We have these snowmen throwing stuff at us. They are one of my least favorite enemies in this game. Let's head over here. We've got a, a Christmas tree. We'll get a better view of it eventually. We have these blocks of ice, which are enemies. I'm gonna try and avoid that. And then I think here there's some stuff we can do with this present box, if I recall correctly. 
Ah, yes, the Christmas lights. We're the Twinklies. Protect us from the Twinkly Munchers as we hop across to our tree. If enough of us get there, we can light the tree for you. What? How do I... Ah, that's how you gotta do it. I was like trying to attack him and I was like, hold on a second. What? No! The sound effects they make are so innocent, I feel so bad when they get eaten. Alright. There's gotta be a better way to do this, because I am like super behind. Right? Like... Can I really not do this? Oh, okay, yeah, so I can do that attack. That makes a huge difference. Like, I can move faster this way, and even, like, outspeed the, uh, the lights as they show up. Alright, so we should be okay in the end. Come on! There we go. This, this round should do it. One, two, and we're good. <laughs> They're so cute, I love their sound effects. That was close, but we made it. Now switch us on. So we saw the switch go on in the back there. I think in the meantime, well, let's take this thing out while we can. Ah, it splits up into a couple smaller ones. And now, can we, I'm, I'm fairly confident that we get damaged because the water is cold. Oh, we have to hit it a few times. There we go. Aw, look how beautiful it is. Yippee, be a star and you'll find your reward. Hurry, hurry. I did not realize that was timed. All right, well, I guess we'll probably have to go back to that later on. Got a huge stack of presents over here and ah, here's bottles. What? There we go. Timer's still counting down, unfortunately. Time for some aerial action with my devastating beak bomb attack. Nice one, Goggles. Tell me more. When you're flying, press X to launch Kazooie at a target like a missile. Choose your targets carefully, though, as it costs a red feather each time you use it. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. You've learned all the moves I can teach you on this world now. Alright, so now we have a sort of attack we can actually use while we're flying. So that'll be something we take the time to do. Whoa, we uh, narrowly evaded those. And we've got ourselves a Jinjo here. Lovely. <laughs> Don't play that music, that's so disappointing. Well, we'll get there eventually. Don't worry. So there's a flight pad, which will be good to know. Um, I should not waste those feathers <laughs> by collecting them when I'm already full. So let's pick up these notes. I think we're going to have to defeat those snowmen at some point. Oh, I see a Mumbo token in the water there. And what is... Oh, there's a, a walrus holding a Jiggy. That's very important. What do we have up here? Ah, the scarf to the snowman. So I guess in the meantime, let's check out what's going on with this walrus. Yikes, a nasty fierce bear. Um, excuse me? Excuse me, walrus, you have a jiggy. I would like to have that jiggy. What's up here? Whew. It's safe for Waza to come out now. Okay. Anything of interest up here? Not particularly. Yet, at least. Okay, so what else do we want to do? Oh, I think I, is that that's probably a present we have to collect. That's pretty neat. So we got some platforms over here. We can uh, jump across and maybe collect some notes at the base of the snowman. While dodging all these snowballs that come flying at us rather quickly. Camera's gonna... Have a little bit of a tough time while we're here. Ah, yes, lovely. Another mumbo token. And back to the note collecting. I love the kind of like faint purples of the base of the snowman. All right, so we were not able to make it over here before. So first of all, let's pick up this present. I'm a present. Give me to someone sad. Oh, presents do make me feel less sad. Like most people, I'd imagine. All right, steep climb up here. Ah, ooh, that's a that's a tricky, tricky placement. Right over the the bee thing. 
So we can go over that way to the left. Do we want to go on the snowman right now? Yeah, that sounds a lot more exciting. <laughs> so let's do that. Up the scarf we go. Again, we're going to be leaving the feathers behind because we don't really need them. Also, I really appreciate here that the red feathers are on the red sections of the scarf. The yellow notes are on the yellow sections. It's just like a very funny, not funny, but like cute little design thing. I think that's really neat for the aesthetic. All right, let's make sure we don't miss any, though. Okay. So it's pretty clear we're now entering the territory of I do not want to mess up at all costs. Avoid failure at all costs. So it looks like there's a sled there we could potentially use. Wow, the camera is um, having a tough time right now. But there's also this pad here that I'm going to try to use. Ah, there's another present. And it looks like maybe these eyes are a safe area. Can't poke them out or anything. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so we picked up that present. I think there were three cubs? Brr, it's cold. Nice warm backpack for me, too. I think there were three cubs. So we may need to find... We'll probably need to find one more before we can go anywhere. Is there? Ah, uh, there totally is. We're going to jump for it. Oh, and I missed. I missed. I missed. But don't fall all the way. Lovely. Also, I don't know. Did you guys see? I think I saw a Jinjo out of the corner of my eye. Yeah, do you guys see it all the way over there? Yeah, it's off, off on the left. So we'll have to go get that. But first, let's carefully walk all the way over here so that we can get this jiggy. Wow, inside the pipe of the, uh, the snowman. Lovely. So how are we going to get over there? We can probably jump up. Like from here? You think? I do think, but first, just in case the slope is too steep, <laughs> let's hop uh, into the Talon Trot first. Okay, so I think that covers most of the things. Um, I'm, again, I'm a little bit hesitant to use this sled just yet. I'd rather explore, I guess, aerially <laughs> with the launch pad that we found up there. Especially given we'll be starting from really high up, we won't have to use a lot of feathers to gain elevation. Alright, up we go. Anything up here? This is what I wanted to see. Anything all the way up top? Ah, there is! So we gotta be extra careful. Wow, we are really high up in the level. This would be a really bad place to fall down. I don't know if you guys have ever played the game uh, Kirby Air Ride, but there's that area in the middle of the city trial section where it's like you're literally on top of the world. You can see everything from up there. But if you fall, you got a long way to get back up. And okay. So we have all the notes from up here, which is lovely. And it doesn't look like there's a jiggy or anything, but wow. Look at how far down everything is. We can hardly even see it from the angle we're at. All right, well, let's um, see if there's anything of interest on the hat. It doesn't seem like there's anything too exceptionally interesting. Just some eggs. But that is good to know. Oh, we could have gone up from here. That's pretty neat. Okay, let's fly again. And this time, do a little bit more exploration. So there's the Christmas tree. There's our other launch pad. Ah, that's right. We have to launch ourselves. We have to use our new attack to hit those buttons on the snowman. So we'll do that in a second. At first, we're going to scout. I think this is the area over here we didn't check out. Yep, there's Mumbo, and there's a Jiggy on top of Mumbo's place, which is good to know. We can, it looks like we can use the Wade Boots to get through the cold water. There's some notes in there, and it looks like we didn't explore over there. So, okay, yeah, there's just that section over there. Oh, and there's a Mumbo token. Do we want to we wanna try and get it? I do. Nice. I didn't want to land, though. I wanted to stay in flight because... While we're up here, I think it was the X button, right? Let's aim for hitting these buttons. We already explored over here, right? Yes, okay. Alright, wish me luck. This this part, this attack, is not exactly um, easy to use, to say the least. So I'm going to get really close and then go for the attack, just to be safe. But yeah, angling Banjo correctly is not um, an easy task. 
but it's helpful if you kind of like get really close and then you use a feather to launch up or like elevate yourself really quickly and then just interrupt your elevation with the X button to attack. All right, that should be good. Nice. And so that was gonna be my next question is, so where's that Jiggy appearing? All right, now while we are <clears throat> up here and flying, I guess let's go over here and try to take out some of these snowmen. You'll notice that the red X's are kind of like the design choice. Oof, that is rough. Is the water too cold for you, Banjo? Well, stay out then. I'm, I'm sorry, I tried. But yeah, hitting the snowmen is gonna be a real, a real challenge. We have, we found a Jinjo though, so that's progress. Oh, I got hit! Wow, we are, we are low on HP, friends. Nope, don't do that. I wanted to Talon Trot. It's unfortunate we literally got hit as we were about to take off. So in the meantime, wow, that was, it looked like they were trying to anticipate where I was going to be going and then threw the, the snowball accordingly. That's pretty crazy. So we might have to fly over there first because we don't, I don't see a pair of boots. Oh my goodness, and there's a snowman ready to get us right up here. Wow, aggressive. Oh, and I almost fell. That would not have been good. We desperately need some uh, honeycomb pieces. All right. We still have our friend over there. We can pick up a few of these red feathers we left behind, which is lovely. And then we can try to fly again, I guess? And let's, we can fly over to Mumbo's hut. Actually, no, I want to take out some of the snowmen first. It's just that the red X's on their hats are so much more difficult to hit with accuracy. But we'll try, because that's really all we can do, right? I know I came all the way up here for the flight pad, which might seem a little bit excessive, but I wanted to get a lot of the red feathers up here. And I guess it just, if you're already going to come up here for those red feathers, you might as well just go all the way up to the, the flight pad. Okay. Oh, so we didn't explore over there yet either, so we'll have to do that. Oh, look at that. There's a mumbo token there. <laughs> so we'll have to do that. Let's see here. Come on, aim. Aim. Attack! What? I still missed? Darn it. Oh, that is not good. Not good, not good, not good. So we're gonna run over to that area where I saw that we still had some notes to collect, and it also seemed like there was, yes, we can get some health over here too, which is much needed at this point. with the ice physics. I tend to try to like jump to quickly correct my direction, um, but then I end up jumping over whatever I'm trying to walk through. So that was a nice little area. I guess we didn't pick up that Jiggy before, so let's do that now. And then again, I guess maybe we should just fly over to Mumbo's first. Rather than try to deal with these snowmen for quite some time because that's proving to be rather difficult. Can I? Oh my goodness. I just got sniped. Can I go up the slope? I can, okay, that's good at least. So now that we're up here, we should be able to make our way to that flight pad, take off, get that mumbo token, and then, whoa, camera. The camera almost got me killed there. Not quite killed, but all right, we're gonna bait the attack and now jump up, good. So now we can fly. Get ourselves a mumbo token. Almost get hit, lovely, lovely. And then fly on over. Oh man, that was close. Oh, there's just an extra life up there. Eh, it's worth it. <laughs> we'll pick it up for the sake of collecting things, right? This is a banjo game after all. All right, we need 15. Obviously we are good on that. And we can hear our friend, the yellow Jinjo up here, calling for help. So that is four? Yeah, four out of the five Jinjos already. Wow. We've got 78 notes. I'd say we're doing pretty well. All right, let's see what Mumbo's magic is going to turn us into this time. 
a baby walrus. I love this so much. <laughs> Banjo gone all fat. Got big teeth. Her her. <laughs> Don't make fun of the walrus. He's so cute. And listen to him. And so now, as a walrus, because we have all of this fat to insulate, we can go into the cold water. And that's the big advantage here. The other thing is, you probably recall that earlier on, there was a walrus who was afraid of us as a bear. However, they will no longer be afraid of us when we, too, are a walrus. Also, wow, these snowballs are getting really close to hitting me. A little too close for comfort. And then, you also may recall that there was a sled that was very small and arguably too big for Banjo. I'm... Man, these things are scary. They're getting awfully close to hitting me. <laughs> Gotta watch out. So where was... I think it was over this way? Yeah, the snowmen are the, the real difficulty of this level, at least for me. Yeah, I think we're good here. Oh, there's right, there's a mumbo token, so I, I need to not forget about that one. And then, here we go, we found our walrus friend. Wow, another walrus? Take this! But watch out for a smelly brown bear! <laughs> and his ugly bird partner. I love the shade thrown at um, Kazooie. It's always just hilarious. And then I think we can actually go in here as well now. I don't remember what we find, though. I do only recall, um, like, the ice key or something. Why, hello again, Mr. Walrus. Feel free to have a look around. Waza's cave. So I think, can we go in here? We can. So there's something there we'll want to take a look in a moment. But I'm not sure if you guys caught out of the corner of your eye. Our Jinjo friend is up there. So we'll have to come back here as Banjo and Kazooie. And it's just that we need to interact with this walrus first as a walrus in order to... Um, get Wowza, or Waza to come in the cave and not, you know, block the entrance. Ah, so here is one of the... these things. Which, oh my goodness. That, that hurt. We are not doing very well in terms of health, guys. We are running low. And there are only a few more of those... I, guess, I don't even know what to call them. Honeycomb farms, bee farms, I think is technically the term. A bee farm? Maybe? <laughs> Around the map that we'll need to look at. Okay, so next up, I think we actually need to get... Can I... Oh, I can't go first. first. No, I can. not I think we need to get on top of that sled that was all the way up on that scarf. So I think that'll be our next goal, is to climb all the way up the snowman as a walrus. Can we get up this slope? We can, slowly, very slowly. Oh, that was so close. Can I attack? No, I can't. Oh, so that's a big deal because that means I can't access any more honeycombs while I'm the walrus. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good. But we'll make do, we'll make do. We still need to find a third present, don't we? Yeah, I don't know where that is. And we're still, we still need like 13 more notes, and I don't know exactly where they're going to be. Hmm. Trying times, trying times for Banjo and Kazooie, our, our walrus partner. I wonder what happens to, wait, was that, oh my goodness, what a sneaky note placement. That would have been, that would have been very, very frustrating later on. Let's do this, come on. Let me jump on this. Can I not? Huh? I swear I'm supposed to be able to use this. Can I really not? I, I, I guess not, right? I swear I can though. And then you slide off of this and you land on the bear. Or did I have to do that as, did I have to do that as Banjo? Please don't tell me I did. Do I take fall damage as a walrus? I don't. Good to know. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess... We'll transform back to Banjo and test out whether or not we can actually use 
that sled. Those of you that are more familiar with the game were probably uh, squirming in your seats like, no, you're supposed to use that. And now we're losing quite a bit of time. But again, never made the promise that I'm a pro. I think I'm generally pretty good at games and I, I'm familiar with Banjo, but the further along we get, the less familiar it's going to be. All right. Well, now that we're Banjo again, we can also heal up, which is actually gonna be really nice. So we gotta use these boots. Wow, they are really pushing the, the time limit here. That was like super fast. Whoa, we just like narrowly escaped that one. All right, so we've gotta climb up, right? Or I could just fly up. And I also think it would be easier to find the, um, what's it called? The little areas, the, the bee farms. Chimney put in some good work there, blocking those attacks. Yeah, so we could just fly up like this and it'll be a lot faster, which is really nice. Obviously use up quite a bit of feathers, but hey, that's uh, what they're there for. All right, moment of truth. Can we ride this? We can! I love that scene, that's so great. <clears throat> Oof. That's better. Hey, you found my sled. I'll go and practice for the big race now. See you, buddy. All right, so we successfully got that. I love that they made like a whole little like cutscene, you know, like a big show out of Banjo riding around on that uh, sled. Always cracks me up. Okay, so now that we have done that, what's the next thing we want to do? I guess we can try... Oh, there's some health over there. That is helpful. And we never properly got the Jiggy from this, right? We have to fly through the star, I think. We can also get this health, which is much appreciated. Oh, man. I was, like, trying to be on the, on the ready. Yippee! Be a star, and you'll find your reward. Okay, so we've only got a limited amount of time. So I think we got to run over here to the flight pad. And as quickly as we can, fly through that star a few times. Easier said than done, though. This is flying in a 3D platformer from, well, of course, the N64. So, let's see here. We can do this. Don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall. Okay, but we so we took damage. But we're alive, and um, that's pretty good. No, don't hit the star itself. Come on, Banjo. Okay, one more time. One more time. Through the hoop, through the hoop. There we go. Wait, what? So that's an area I completely forgot about. <laughs> so obviously there's more to explore inside the actual um, tree itself. However, I need to heal up, and look, you can see there's a setup for the race over there. And there's that over there. Okay, so we're gonna chill here, because as Banjo, we need to go in here and get the Jinjo, right? And then we can go across the way and get some health. Eek! The bear again! Take that noisy orange thing with you and leave! Or Waza alone. I love that. It's so funny. Uh -huh. Ah, and there it is. So you can see through the ice here. That is the ice key. And I recall some some stop and swap. I think that's what it was. Stop and swap shenanigans going on with the original N64 game and the ice key and other you know hidden unlockables and stuff that get pretty crazy. But um, let's let's see here. How can we we need to get that health? So that is what is going to be our top priority right now. So we're gonna jump across this and this. Oh, and you know, oh man, those are those are so close. These snowmen are really good at aiming. But I bet the last Christmas present is also inside the Christmas tree. So we need all three of these. Okay. So now we head over to the Christmas tree. I think we can make this jump. Nice. Oh. We made the jump, 
We just uh, took a lot of damage in the process, and now Banjo's going for a slide ride. <laughs> do we need to do much more while flying? Oh, look at that hidden mumbo token. Almost missed it. Would have been so disappointed in myself. Oh, and there's some health there too, actually. We didn't even need to go all the way over there for the health, but... Oh well, I guess. Is there a mumbo token there? No, there isn't. Alright, so I think we can actually go in the Christmas tree? Maybe? Oh, there's a mumbo token. Ah, oh, we can climb up it. That's how we get in here. That is really cool. Oh, and it's the termites again. That's pretty neat. Do they attack me? Seems like it. There's our third Christmas present. Take me to the kids. I'm the last one. Ah, thank you. Thank you for the heads up. Do we fight these things? Can I fight them? I don't know. Either way, we gotta climb up higher. So, see you later, termites. So there's a whole nother row or area up there. But in the meantime, we're gonna get quite a few of these notes. Look, you can even see the Christmas lights on the outside. That's, that's really great, actually. 99, 100, awesome. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. What's all the way up here? Ah, oh, there's the jiggy. So we can stock up on a whole bunch of items here. Oh, and I completely missed. There we go. Okay, let's get some of the red feathers because we need a few more of those and then we can be on our way. Don't take damage as we fall. <laughs> nice. So what do we want to do next? What was the next thing we were going to do? We got that, we got that. I think we need to race the bear. Right? I think that's the thing we do next. I just don't remember where we do that. Because the bear said he was getting ready for like the big race, right? I guess in the meantime we can go return the presents because now we have all three of them, right? Is this where it starts? I think this is back where it, towards the beginning. Oh, maybe it was back by that one area that I initially thought was just like really barren and empty. That's probably where it is. Hello, friend. You get a blue present. Hello, friend. You get a green present. Wow, thank you, brown bear. And you get a red present. Presents for everyone. Banjo Santa saves the day. Yippee! Now we've got all. Now we've all got presents. Here's something for you. Ah, uh, yes. Just what I wanted for Christmas. <laughs> I love that everything is so well like animated in this game. Everything is so like plentiful of energy. Like, even the, the presents are, like, bouncing up and down, and they're all happy with joy, just like the cubs that, you know, receive them. It's so funny. Okay, so let's go see if we can find the race against the bear. And then I think we'll be pretty good. Ah, yes, here we go. Hello again, buddy. I'm waiting for someone to race me. We'll race you, numbutt. <laughs> Sorry. You're too big for my sled. I can only race someone smaller. That's what I remember. That's what I remember. Also, just want to check how many... So, one of the things that's cool is you can check the totals for each place. We have seven jiggies here. And we're still missing one of the honeycomb pieces. Hmm. So, we'll definitely need to be mumbo for that. But what are the other jiggies? I'm having a tough time remembering, honestly. We'll need to fly to get to Mumbo's anyways. So we'll do that for now. And I guess in the meantime, we can take a look around. I do think we need to defeat the snowman for, or a snowman at least, for something. But I'm not sure what the last things are. We got all the Jinjos, right? Yeah, we got all the Jinjos. Hmm. I mean, I guess, let's, um, let's try and take this guy down. That was the wrong button. Excellent job, Nick. Excellent job. <laughs> great, great, great. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out where... So we get one from the sleds. I think we might be able to get one from these snowmen. But even then, I th we're still missing out on some. Let's see if we can take this guy down. We missed him, too. Come on. 
So we are really struggling with this aiming here. And we are running out of areas to harvest health. So it's not looking good. Can I beat these snowmen just using the, like, regular attack? Can I... Can I get up here, Banjo? You wanna, you wanna let me up, or what? Can I not? Come on. There we go. Alright, let's, um, let's see if we can maybe go for, like, an easier one. Like this one over here. It's a little bit more, like, already upright. You don't have to get as close to the, the ground to aim at it. We'll get awfully close. What? There we go. So that gave us a little bit of health. We can harvest, and more importantly, it gets rid of one of the enemies that's been giving us such a tough time. Alright, alright, we're close. Attack! Nice! And you can see that's what we needed. Alright, let's get this one. No! Oh, I accidentally hit A a bunch, so we ended up flying higher. That's... you know what, that's okay. We've got a couple of these guys we can take out over here. Oh, I missed! Don't fall in the water! Attack again! Perfect! Oh, there's a Grunty Switch! I had forgotten about the Grunty Switch, guys. And... nope. Don't fall in the water. Attack. Nice! And a Mumbo Token. Lovely. Okay, so now we have a good amount of health we can get. One of the last remaining piece, or Honeycomb piece. And a Grunty Switch, which is awesome. I think there's only one more of those snowmen to get rid of. And... After that, what'll be awesome is that we won't have to worry about so many of these enemies. Take it out, take it out. Please. Oh! Interesting. I feel like as a kid I never got that one. Because that one was by far the least intuitive, I guess. Um, or it's not really counterintuitive, but just I think it was one of the toughest ones for me to get because of killing the snowman. So I don't think I ever did as a kid, really. I obviously must have gotten it when I 100%ed it, but that did not stick well. <laughs> so, we gotta go all the way up here. I know I obviously could have saved a lot of feathers by um, climbing up here and then flying up at the at the top of the scarf, but didn't want to really use up all that time. So now we need to be extra careful, <laughs> extra careful about going down here, because we do not have the health to afford falling down very far. So, extra careful. Okay. And now, what we'll do is we'll fly and very slowly, calmly make our way down. <laughs> Alright. And we can do so relatively safely now. That we don't have the snowmen coming after us all the time. Wow, this, this level, I knew Freeze Easy Peak would take me a while. Don't, don't slide. Talon Trot. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, let's jump to this. In a very easy, obtainable manner. Nice. Mumbo token. And health. And then we're gonna go over here and get this one. We need to get more red feathers, too. So we got health. And a grunty switch. Lovely. Oh, and that opens up one all the way up there. So if we're able to fly up there, we should be able to get that one. Can I make the jump? Oh, that was really close, guys. <laughs> and again, we need all the bits of health we can get. Another mumbo token, lovely. Can I get up there? Can I climb that slope? Probably not. All right, so we gotta go back over there. <laughs> wow. I hope you guys are patient. I hope you guys are enjoying the music, the very wintry music. I'll never forget that word, wintry. It threw me a curveball when I first, when I encountered it for the first time when I was taking the ACT as a high schooler. Oh, I'm also remembering, when I was a kid, I had the Donkey Kong 64 and Banjo-Kazooie official soundtracks, and I listened to them all the time. I had a little binder. This was easily one of my favorites, but um, holy cow, what a throwback. So we're still missing one of the Jiggies, right? Like, in addition to the one we're probably gonna get from the race. Yeah. So there's... Hmm. What's the next one to get? 
Because we'll, we'll turn into a walrus. If we turn into a walrus, can I break in one of these windows maybe or something? Is that part of it? I don't know. But we're definitely missing out on something. Because, yeah, I can, I can turn into a walrus and maybe win that race. But that's still not going to get us the last Jiggy. We have all the notes. We have the honeycomb pieces. And we have all the Jinjos. And very soon, we will have 9 out of the 10 Jiggies. Hmm. There's something behind Mumbo here? Nope. Okay. And now, while we're a walrus and slowly walking around this tundra, we don't have to worry about the snowmen coming after us, which will be really nice. We got the grunty switch too? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We're inside the, the Christmas tree. Got the cubs. We hit the switches for the snowman. We did the, the top of the Christmas tree. We got all the snowmen. We landed on the bear, we got the walrus, got the Jinjos. Hey, Mr. Walrus, fancy a race? Hop on the sled if you do. Oh, do I ever. <laughs> Come on, if I could land on the sled. There we go. Great, now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red slalom gates and beat me to the end. Got it? Three, two, one, go! So, this race is um, very doable. However, much like the rest of this game, rubber banding is super real. So if we get really far ahead, um, this polar bear is gonna get nuts in terms of moving really, really fast. You can already see he's kind of like really trying to speed up and push me out of the way. Oh, we almost got him off road there. <laughs> Granted, we're not able to build up too much of a lead. Oh, I remember. I remember you race him once as a walrus, and then you race him as Banjo and Kazooie, I'm pretty sure. Because I remember there's honestly like a lot more opportunity to build a lead as Banjo and Kazooie while you're talent trotting. No! He pushed us out of the way! No! Faster! You're not trying back there. Hey, 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 I'm trying. We'll catch up. Look at him taunting us. Come on. And we've taken the lead again. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're almost there. Final stretch. Come on. Ooh. Whew. That was actually pretty close at the end there. Whew. You're too quick for me, Mr. Walrus. Here's your medal. I reckon I need to race someone my own size. That's the clue, guys. That's the clue. Wow, it has been a while since I've played through all of Freeze Easy Peak. Generally speaking, I'm not a huge fan of ice physics, so this level tends to be... Um, a little bit lower on my, my I guess, tier list for Banjo-Kazooie levels. I love the aesthetic. It's incredibly creative. It's incredibly well done. The whole wintry environment, the ice water, this big snowman, the Christmas lights, the Christmas tree, the scarf, and all that stuff. I just don't really enjoy um, slippery physics <laughs> in any game. Um, and the snowmen tend to be a pretty difficult enemy. But okay, now we at least know where that last Jiggy is and can calmly, I guess, rest easy, knowing we're not missing some random Jiggy somewhere. What's interesting is I think because you race the uh, bear as both a walrus and as Banjo, I feel like I remembered it being Banjo, but at the same time I remembered riding as like the walrus, so I was really confused when I first saw the sled and thought I needed to be the walrus, and then I had, went back as Banjo, and because I rode it as Banjo, I thought I needed to race the bear as Banjo, and then I needed to be a walrus, and now I need to go back to being a bear to race it. So, it's just a funny sequence of events, I guess. And where was that race taking place again? I think it was up here. Or was this the end? Yeah, I think it was... Oh, it's over there. Nice. So I'm glad we didn't walk too far in that direction before realizing that we were potentially going in the wrong direction. Here we go. Hey buddy, fancy a race against Boggy? Press A to accept or B to chicken out. We will race. Okay buddy, here's the rules. 
run through the red slalom gates and try to beat me to the end. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. So obviously if you have, holy cow, he flies. Look at that. How crazy is that? Come on, kid. I can walk quicker. This is too easy. I'm giving up. Holy cow. So there's no way we can do that without those speed shoes or whatever. Press A to race or B to back out. But I swear, I think you get those unlocked in, in Gobi's Valley. So I, I don't think we can actually do this right now. Oh, that's going to be a real bummer. I don't, but I don't think you're supposed to do that level before Freeze Easy Peak. Am I misremembering that? Maybe. Maybe I am, I guess. Darn. Well, that's a real bummer. <laughs> um, so I think we're going to have to actually call it at that for now. Unfortunately, we're not able to beat this boggy bear in a race who moves so much faster than when we race him as a walrus. Who, of course, we can, you know, beat in that form. And I guess we'll have to come back after we unlock a new move in a different level. Which is a real shame. But we have one of these to deal with. Can I can I attack it with the, this attack? Nope, I cannot. <laughs> so, let's at least get the Jiggy that is up here. Because we unlocked it with the, the Gruntilda switch. Um, how do I get up there? Oh, I need to, um, yeah, I, I bet I need the, uh, the running shoes. Because I need to use them to get to the flight pad out here after I activate that one switch. And then after I activate that switch, I can, I can run over here, fly up there, and then through there, and then fly to get that jiggy. Interesting. So, where am I supposed to be unlocking Gobi's Valley then? <laughs> that, you know, Egyptian desert-esque level. Look at this area. This, like, lava-esque place. Here it is. Oh my goodness, I can't even believe... I think I probably did the wrong sequence. Maybe, maybe not. Honestly, this is a game that's meant to be, you know explored in multiple ways. You go to a level, you get some notes, you get some jiggies, and then you go to a different level, and, and so forth. It's not the end of the world, I guess. So there's Gobi's Valley, and we finally unlock that area. Interesting. So you go past the level to find the picture that unlocks it. So maybe they just like tease you with it for a bit first. Then we've got some areas over there. We've got Brentilda. So we got, we've got some exploring to do over in this direction, too. And, obviously, back by Gobi's Valley, so... There's a lot to look forward to, and this episode has already been so long. Tootie says she's fine with me. If you go home, I'll set her free. Yeah, I don't know if I'm buying that. That seems awfully sus. So I guess... We'll leave it here and say that in the next episode, we'll go to Gobi's Valley and probably complete Gobi's Valley, unlock... That one move we need to go back to Freeze Easy Peak and complete Freeze Easy Peak and get the Gruntilda's Lair um, Jiggy from the Switch. But again, that'll all have to be in the next episode. Thank you so much to those of you that stayed through the entirety of this episode. I know it was a much longer one, but I hope you guys are looking forward to the next one. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.